boys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 13 of Supernatural Entitled, well, first of all, aka Lucky Number 13, entitled Root 666. Nah, that was my devil sound, I guess. Anyways, the last episode saw them uh, kind of deal with the healer, a man of faith. Have some faith, Dean. Dean, having a heart attack, gets fucking... Gets resuscitated. It doesn't get resuscitated, but... He basically has heart problems and is given a couple months to live, goes and meets a healer, and the healer saves his life unknowingly by sacrificing another person's life. And they shut that shit down. But Dean, at the end of the day, gets healed. No more heart problems. On to the next, my friends. Let's see how, I want to see how long that, that weighs on his conscience. I hope that's a reoccurring theme over the course of this entire show. I hope that comes back up in conversation later down the line, I think would be pretty interesting. But regardless... If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content if there's a day there's a reaction. There will be links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. We're going to hop into it, all right? Now, who the heck is this? What is pants? Red is 666. All up in your girlfriend's twit pics. Uh-oh, Route 6. Uh-oh. Let me just turn that shit off real quick. That car is approaching on you, bro. Go! Double Rangers Turbo, go! Another Turbo reference, baby. Oh, me, oh, my. There's nothing like doing 30 over the fucking speed limit and still having some jackass who has a lifted truck and their goddamn LED brights shining right on you as they ride your ass. Happens all the time. Get a life. No, sir. Hey, bro, eyes on the road. Oh, my God, it done flipped you. You're going to be trapped in that game of pickle for a hot minute. I love the reuse of those two shots of the collision. Pump the brakes there, Toe Mater, all right? He did what in his cup? Whoosh. Super natural. Which, by the way, how does she know what we do? He told her clearly. You told her. You told her the secret. Our big family rule number one: we do what we do and we shut up about it. For a year and a half, I do nothing but lie to Jessica, and you go out with this chick in Ohio a couple of times, and you tell her everything. Dean. Yeah. Looks like. That's hurtful. That's the first thing I thought too was like Sam lied to Jessica that whole time, but like Dean, you know, gets some good good, gets turned out, and he's like, you know what? Laying in bed one day, it's like, man, that was great. I hunt supernatural shit. By the way, me and my brother, demons, ghosts, ghouls, all of it. It's real. I'm going to bed now. Sorry about your dad. Yeah. Me too. Hmm. <laughs> Sam's eating that shit up, boy. Look at this fucking Halloween Michael Myers ass house you're living in. She was all by herself. Holy shit. She was so nervous and frightened. She was worried about dad. Why? He was scared. He was seeing things. Like what? He swore he saw an awful looking black truck following him. A truck? Who was the driver? He didn't talk about a driver. Just the truck. He said it would appear and disappear. And in the accident, Dad's truck was dented. Like it had been slammed into by something big. Yeah. And it's not just from the, the flip over. You know what pisses me off? I've been to so many people's houses. Nobody's ever gave me one of these little hot chocolate coffee cup tea things with a little plate under it. You know what, you know what happens when I go to my friend's house? 
I take a water bottle. You know, I don't even bring my own water, own drink. And as soon as I walk in, they frisbee a fucking coaster at me. I'm just like, hey, can I get one of those uh, porcelain cups? And then you get smacked in the neck, and you're like, <laughs> and you have a coaster now. I just want my own little spoon, one of them little fucking, <laughs> one of them little get out cups where you can put the spoon on the thing and hit it. You know what I'm saying? The one she had. I, one of these. I'm not asking for much. So you mean to tell me Larry the Cable Guy's out here running? Jimmy meant something to this town. He was one of our best. We won't be the same without him. Our best seem to be dropping like flies. Dropping like flies. Clayton, my father, Jimmy. What is it exactly you want me to do? We got a racist truck just fucking plowing black people off the side of the road. What type of evil spirit is this, brother? Well, how about... It's just a... Uh... Just an interesting observation in a, you know, observationally interesting way. I think we might have some more pressing issues here. I think y'all still got some feelings for each other, Brother Barrett. Oh, uh -huh. Sam is loving everything about all that that's going down right now. Yeah, they still got some, uh, they still got some feelings. Live crab. Oh, and you might also want to mention that other thing. What other thing? The serious, unfinished business? <laughs> Dean, what is going on between you two? Y'all need some closure? Didn't end well? Alright, so maybe we were a little bit more involved than I said. Ooh. Uh, Engaged? Okay, a lot more. Maybe. <laughs> and I told her the secret about what we do, and I shouldn't have. Now oh, look, man, everybody's gotta open up to someone sometime. Yeah, I don't. It was stupid to get that close. I mean, look how it ended. <laughs> you stopped? <laughs> Every time he talks about it, Sam is just something. no. Look at him, Stone Coast there. Oh my God! Ooh. You were in love with her, Ooh. but you dumped her. Oh wow! Oh, it's your brother here, Dean. You can open up to him. <gasps> Get in the car. Get in the car. Heartbreak all around. Sam's no smiles no longer. What if that's Sam right here? Why'd you break my brother's heart? Dean. Hey. hey. Come on in. Yeah, he was already kind of coming in anyways, looked like. So, you busy? Or? Uh, the paper's doing a tribute to Jimmy. Uh, I was just going close. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the neighborhood of emotional vulnerability, you back off. Or make some joke or find any way to shut the door on me. <laughs> Door whoops, well, shut. Hilarious. Uh oh, here he comes back. See, I'm not the one who took that big final door and slammed it behind me. Wait, and I'm not the one who took the key and buried it. Are we done with this metaphor? All I'm saying is I was totally upfront with you back then, and you nailed me with it. The guy I'm with, the guy I'm hoping might be in my future, tells me he professionally puffs ghosts. The words I use. And that he has to leave to go work with his father. I did. All I could think was, if you want out, fine. But don't tell me this insane story. It was the, the truth. truth. Cassie, That's why you called me. It sounds so insane the minute you thought I could help you. Back then, I thought you just wanted to dump me. Whoa, let's not forget who dumped who, okay? I thought it was what you wanted. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh I my didn't God. mean to hurt you. Well, you did. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, me too. Now make out. Here it comes. Ready? Oh, she looked at his lips. There it is. Oh my God, and the music kicking in. Yeah. Fill me again with your love. I mean, you could take that multiple ways, but I don't think right now driving to a whole other state and filling somebody with your love is the right option, bro. You don't know. Birth control involved. Is he wearing a rubber? Like, you, there's so many questions going on right now. I've said, I've got a moment to say it in every show, but you know what they say. Great sex is safe sex, so you better wear latex because you don't want that late text that I think I'm late text. So wrap it up. But he's so sweet. Make her want to lick the rapper. Hashtag Lil Wayne. Lollipop remix. What in the fuck? Okay, so one, 
your career wild for trying to run away from that on foot. Second of all, look at this. Bitch, I'm getting in my car. All right, look at him. He takes a second. Yeah, I'm out. There you go. Good leap. Good roll. Good flip. And to fucking land with your eyes already zombified and shit and your mouth all open is insane. He didn't hit you that hard. Where were you last night? <laughs> he didn't make it back to the motel. Well, I'm guessing you guys work things out? We'll be working things out when we're 90. So what happened? Every bone crushed. Internal organs turned to pudding. The cops are all stumped, but it's almost like something ran them over. Right. Something like a truck? Yep. Tracks? Nope. What's the mayor doing here anyway? He owned the property. Bought it a few weeks ago. And he's white. Doesn't fit the pattern. Can't believe it didn't happen up on the road. I but he said, either. but he he did say, though, that to ask her, like, you know, call me racist, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if he has, like, a black wife or something. You know? Interracial marriage. Florian. She vanished in April of 63. The case was... He said it's April of 03 on the thing. This right around the time the string of murders was going on back then. Yeah, well, I, this I, mother brother probably been running the people off the road. I'm gonna get by my pickup truck and run you off the road. That's pretty much what I imagine he sounds like. A bunch of paper up on the Dorian place. It must have been in bad shape when the mayor bought it. Why is that? The first thing he did was bulldoze the place. Do you not have an upstairs? Is there not steps behind you? I would would go up the steps <laughs> like that's your safest place to be maybe you could throw a couple shots in there did the truck you didn't see who was driving just truck. leave was your mama the one driving it there seemed to be no one what happened tonight you and cassie are marked okay and your daughter could die so if you know something, now would be a really good time to tell us about it. Gene. Yes. Yes, he said he saw a truck. Did he know who it belonged to? He thought he did. Who was that? Me. Cyrus. A man named Cyrus. You don't have to pull out the piece of paper, bro. I remember who it is. Oh. Is this Cyrus? Cyrus Dorian died more than 40 years ago. Okay. How do you know he died? Mrs. Robinson. Killed that motherfucker, huh? Went missing. <gasps> what you know? How do you know he died? The day someone set fire to the church. I mean, that looks like a racist-ass church to begin with. No, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. There was a children's choir practicing in there bro she has tore up they all died. not the babies not the children stop after that no there was one more one at night that truck came from mark i was beating something terrible <laughs> Oh, fuck, son. But Martin, you see, Martin got loose. Then he started hitting Cyrus. Good. He just kept Good. Hitting him and oh, hitting damn. Him. That's a home run right there, brother. <laughs> and now there is no one left to protect. No, oh, mama. Of there is. Your daughter. Gotta protect Cassie. I still want to know where the truck went from earlier. Like, it was just outside and you all showed up. Did it drive away? Did it... Run out of gas. Oh, my life is so simple. <laughs> School. Exams. Don't leave the house. Don't go getting all authoritative on me. You know she probably likes it. it. Oh, never mind. Don't leave the house, please. Yes, Danny. Ooh, Sam. Sam. Ahem. Uh-oh. Coming or what? Y'all keep y'all keep kissing like that. I just might. You know what I'm saying? Right, Sorry, that was gross. 
<laughs> so we gotta burn this too. Is this how you resolve most spirits? Is you just fucking burn them? Right? It's like you find the OG, triple OG, and just set it ablaze. You ain't got no salt, do you? Oh, that's gross. Alright, let's get to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. I was hoping they'd... Salt and gasoline. I was really hoping they'd have to burn the truck. Think that'll do it? I think you gotta burn the truck. I guess not. Whoops! Nice little turn right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the amount of trust they have in each other, by the way. You can even question that shit. Finn, you still there? Yeah. What's happening? It's just staring at me. What do I do? Just what you are doing. Bringing it to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet you reversed. Yeah, man. Boy, that would stress me, though. I would have shit my pants. There would be fresh human fucking fecal matter in that driver's seat. Ain't no way. Hip, hip. At least some urine. At, at the bare minimum. You still there? I'd have a leaky bladder. Forty times are destroyed, so... I figured maybe that would get rid of it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Bitch. Maybe. What if you were wrong? Well. Huh. Honestly, that thought hadn't occurred to me. I would just be glad that we were right in that situation, well, TBA. didn't occur to me. <laughs> Stranger things happen. Stranger things? Stranger things. Created by the Duffy Brothers. Later, Tater. So back to them driving away right there, brother. Let's go ahead and hit this real quick. On Season 1, Episode 13, Dean is contacted by his first love, Cassie, a girl who asked him to come to Mississippi to investigate a string of racially motivated murders. Hand down, man down. That damn evil truck. That is such a goofy ass concept. And the whole time I'm like, man, this is almost as ridiculous as like the bug stuff. But it, the overarching story around it actually made the episode a lot better because it, it was more of Dean and Cassie and their relationship and the way the murders happened and who was behind the murders. Rather than it being, if it was just going to be the fucking ghost truck. Up until Cassie's mom gave that exposition, I was sitting here like, mm, no, <laughs> this is this episode's trash. But it ended up being really good. Another, Again, another good, odd-numbered, good-ass episode for episode 13. And I like seeing that Dean had somebody that he confided in that he told his secret. He told his family secret to and put that shit out in the open. And you can tell he has actual feelings for her. And I love how much Sam actually got a kick out of that, too. Um, that's rough. That's a rough part of their job, man. It, it'd be hard to actually love somebody in those situations because you are always on the road. You are constantly going, doing, churning and burning. And it's, it's a lot. That is a whole, whole lot of stuff. Oh, them poor boys. And, you know, it's kind of hard there for a second for Dean to open up to Sam. And he definitely has that big brother wall around him that prevents him from doing some things. But We'll see how that evolves over the show. And this was just strictly a case. This really didn't lead towards anything, it didn't feel like, other than, you know, Dean's past relationship. And I like Cassie, too. I think she'd be somebody good for him. And uh, I get the vibe with most of these characters. We'll never see him ever again. But it'd be cool if Cassie's at least mentioned or something later on down the road. I hope maybe that's something that evolves. But, I mean, moving into episode 
14 that that leaves us with what like nine episodes left right uh I imagine Jeffrey Dean Morgan has to pop up probably somewhere around the last few episodes. Or they have to like push back towards that objective. Because right now at the moment they're kind of being led. I wonder, I think now they'll probably go to Pennsylvania. I think that's their next move. There's a lot of different strings involved, but this was a good episode. I don't have too much to say about it. I just really enjoyed it and I like seeing that dynamic between those two characters. Um, I like seeing the trust in each other. He's like, hey, pull around, stop. Sam was right on, he was right on cue with it that if it went over hollowed ground, that's what would happen. Shout out to their mom who's in there just wailing and just being a shattered human being. Oof. Hey, man. Another good one. So more along the lines like a Flying Dutchman thing like they said with the car, but still. The Piston Cup. He did what in his cup? I'm glad Tomater didn't kill Cassie. But anyways, Season 1, Episode 13, simply put, Root 666. Season 1, Episode 14 is entitled Nightmare, so I imagine we'll tie in with Sam having his nightmares, and we'll see where that goes. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.